If this video helpful please share. As you might have guessed, the base Stilvio and the T are positioned parallel to the Giulia. Both pair the turbocharged 2.0 liter with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The 16-valve single overhead cam 4-cylinder with direct injection and Fiat's multi-air variable valve lift system produces the same 280 horsepower and 306 pounds to foot of torque as it does in the Giulia. The engine produces full torque at a low 2,250 revolutions per minute and holds on to it until 4,500 revolutions per minute. Alpha says the all-wheel drive system can transfer up to 60% of torque to the front axle when needed. It's linked to the Stilvio's chassis domain controller (CDC) and driver-adjustable Alpha DNA drive mode system, which permits the driver to select among dynamic natural, and advanced efficiency modes to modify throttle response, boost pressure, and the settings of the adaptive suspension on the T and Quadrifoglio. On the Quadrifoglio, it's called DNA Pro, while on the base Stilvio, adaptive suspension damping is not available. A 7.0-inch TFT screen and a pair of traditional white on black dial gauges deliver pertinent info to the driver. Leather seating a Formula One-inspired flat-bottom steering wheel, push-button start, a backup camera, rear parking sensors, and a power hatch are part of the standard kit. Alpha's Q4 all-wheel drive system is standard across the lineup. Harman, Carden supplies an optional 900-watt, 14-speaker audio system. The standard set of 18-inch aluminum wheels is only one of seven choices, in sizes ranging from 18 to 21 inches in diameter. There are 13 exterior colors offered. The T trim adds standard 19-inch wheels, authentic wood interior trim, and an 8.8-inch infotainment screen in place of the standard 6.5-inch display. T buyers will also have the option of selecting sport and lasso packages. However, at press time, exact details on these packages were not available. 4 Leaf Clover Although the 505 horsepower 2.9 liter V6 and its 443 pounds to foot of torque may not be all that separates the Stilvio Quadrifoglio from the humbler base and T trims, it's certainly a formidable difference. Alpha is not pulling any punches here claiming the Quadrifoglio can knock off the 0 to 60 mile per hour run in 3.9 seconds and is good for a top speed of 177 miles per hour helping the cause is an 8-speed automatic transmission, a torque vectoring rear differential, high performance suspension tune, more robust brakes, and Quadrifoglio specific wheels. A 200 mile per hour speedometer, a leather wrapped steering wheel, carbon fiber trim, and a set of 12-way adjustable seats carry the racy theme inside. Those interested in taking things even further can specify lightweight carbon fiber Sparco seats and Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. Building on the basics of Alpha's DNA drive mode system, the Quadrifoglio's DNA Pro setup features a fourth setting, appropriately named Race. When selected, it enables an overboost function for the turbos, opens up the two-mode exhaust, turns off the stability control, delivers sharper brake and steering settings, and dials up more aggressive transmission and throttle calibrations. Basically, it sets the stage for the driver to emerge as either a hero or zero, based entirely on skill level. Alfa Romeo which has become notorious after a decade of announcing and then delaying models, takes a huge step toward finally getting its portfolio together with the arrival of the Stilvio. That said, the brand has not yet revealed any dimensions, pricing, or an on-sale date for the vehicle. Although we're anxious to drive it, a part of us wishes Alpha had kept the Stilvio tag in its back pocket to use for a pulse quickening high-performance sports car or sports sedan rather than an SUV.
Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.